lighting I feel like is absolutely awful. Anyway, I am doing this thing called Ghibli Tober. So I do a painting every day. It's the same idea as Inktober, Painttober, whatever. But I do a Ghibli inspired painting every day. Today, I have to do two paintings. I just finished one. I just finished one. And to catch up for Ghibli Tober, I need to do two more today. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a, a kind of, I guess, I don't know, a tutorial, I guess, like how to paint two paintings in one day. I don't know, whatever. I'm just gonna show you how I paint. I'm doing oil paint, I'm using oil paint. And in order to finish two paintings in one day, I have to be very careful about my decisions. How am I going to do this? Honestly, it is going to be a challenge for sure. Oh, I'm still recording. All right, okay. Okay, so for this one, this is the House Moving Castle one. I start all my paintings different. Here, I'm obviously just sketching it in with a paintbrush. When it's like nature vibes, it's easier to just sketch in with a paintbrush. Um, and my approach to all of this is just filling in the darks where I see them, filling in the lights where I see them. And then when it comes to the Ghibli characters, I have to make careful decisions because the you have to fit in something that's already animated by other people into your painting to make it look real. So here I'm just doing like a base of this purple and red, what I see in there. And then as I go, I like darken things up and add different colors. Um, Oh, and I'll put the reference that I that I used. All the photos are taken from my hometown, so it makes them extra special. This is the Spirited Away one. This is from the Speed Art Museum. And you see for this one, I'm actually sketching it in because there's a lot of straight lines, and I use some straight edges and rulers and stuff to make sure those are all perfect. The stained glass was intimidating. It, it shouldn't be because since it is so bright, I can kind of like take a watercolor approach to it where I just paint in uh, the, the certain colors you see and then just leave the rest white, like the white of the gesso. That was my approach. And then as I go, I like add a little bit more color and darken things up. The final result I'm decently happy with. I talk about it in the next little clip, but... This painting, I wasn't really feeling too hard. I think I burned myself out doing all all three paintings in one day. But, I mean, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. But like I said, yeah, it was just a little intimidating. Maybe because I was burned out? I don't know. The bright light, the shine on the floor, like, the wood floors are something I, like, and weirdly not comfortable painting. It, it was a challenge to do this one and the one with the ducks. I think this is not blurry. Okay, okay I finished. Yay. Oh my god. My desk is a mess. Don't judge me. Here, I did a house moving castle. Shiny. I love, oh, I'll, I'll do a close up. I love painting all in one go. Cause it gives me some juicy paint strokes. And then this one, I might touch it up in the future before the sale happens, but I'm just, the, the liquid, this shit has been making me so nauseous. Sure, I am, I need to stop. But this is one inspired, the reference photo was taken at um, the speed art here in Louisville. And it's no face in front of the stained glass window looking at some art. I think it's really cute. I love it. I really wanted the stained glass to be perfect. I think the illusion is there when looking at it from far away. I am kind of interested in painting stained glass again because I want to I want to be good at it. <laughs> And then I, I just added like some more little details to this, but I'm so happy with how this turned out. I love the shadows coming off of, off the heads, Kudoshu, 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 I don't, I don't remember what they're fucking called, but they're like, the little heads from Spirited Away here are, um, they model up like the, the Dur Durama, Durama, 
Dolls. Is that what their Manitan is modeled after? Anyway, those are the three. Okay, so three paintings in a day. I'm tired. I'm gonna gesso some canvas or some wood panels for tomorrow and then I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. Bye! Bye! We need that away. Away, I say. If anyone has any good anime recs, I just finished. That's better. I just finished this one called Vivi. Watch Zom 100. Mushoku something something. Jujutsu Kaisen. I've been watching a lot of them. But I'm looking for something kind of cute. I wish. I wish. What's that one? Haruhi. With the one with Haruhi. You know the one. The one with Haruhi. A little trans queen. Not trans. What's it called? I want an anime like that, if you can read my mind. With Haruhi. That anime. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Focus. Focus. Can you see? You can kind of see. These are the wood panels I get. They're just from Michael. They come in a six pack. It's like $25. But if you spend... God damn this lighting. If you spend all your money there like me, um, you get it for like eight bucks because I had a ten dollar coupon and there's thirty percent off. Uh yeah, so that's what I get. And they also have sandpaper there, but honestly, these little blocks from Home Depot were just as nice. I made these protein muffins. This has nothing to do with art. This time I got, I put some no sugar dark, dark chocolate chips in it and walnuts. We're gonna taste test.